Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, October 28, 2020. Welcome to you. I hope that your Wednesday is off to a great start. Back in February of this year, long before we had all the turmoil, the social unrest, the um, all the shelter in place and all of the lockdowns in this country, I did a video in February talking about storm clouds or gathering and suggesting that people do their best as best they can to be preppers in a sense of don't wait until as we saw back in March when things go absolutely insane in grocery stores with things like toilet paper and flour and pastas and shelf stable things to go out there and that time join those crowds and be caught in those total melees it was disaster for people and they complained and they complained well here we are again I'm not going to get into a lot of the whys and wherefores i'm a believer of uh, like the tsa says if you see something say something right and if you think you know something say something too and i'm not going to get into all the downs and dirties about uh, what's coming but just to say a bad brew combination of social unrest on time on top of uh, a renewed economic uh, downturn is just the just the right brew to have uh, to have the psychology shift into a grab and go mode uh, coming up here so i just put this out here as another reminder just like i did back in february and those people that heeded that um, upload in february were way ahead of the curve in terms of being uh, stocked up and prepared and it's not so much uh, a fear factor, it's not wanting to get involved when we're having rapidly rising cases of COVID-19 and social unrest. It's not wanting to get involved in crowd situations and being out there where you risk the potential for infection or, uh, or harm. We live in a society that has been blessed with hundreds of years of relative stability with relatively few outbreaks of social unrest. Typically, they're measured in terms of a day, a week, at most maybe a couple weeks. But we're coming to a time now where we have stressed government to the breaking point here with our expectations of what it's able, what it can do, and what it's able to do. We've piled trillions of dollars of new debt since stimulus uh, checks to people. Uh, bought bought lousy debt in the marketplace done everything done everything short of paying everybody's utility bills to be in there fighting to try to prevent a um, a real well a real economic catastrophe and there's no guarantees in life that just wanting to do and doing the things that the fed and the treasury done are able to uh, prevent that we live in a changing global landscape where other powers rise and powers diminish over time. And we now live in a very, very heavily indebted nation where our options are becoming fewer and fewer for achieving prosperity. And God forbid we hit a tipping point where things start to unwind in this country. Well, as for me, I want to be on the front edge there. I want to be the person who's prepped and ready uh, so that I'm able to be self-sustaining so I don't have to fight the crowds and go into all that, go out there and be involved in all those potential social melees. Yeah, social unrest is my real concern because, as we know, truckers, when things get bad in inner cities and deliveries, they just won't deliver to certain supermarkets. And then it'll really be on. So take the time, be smart, just prep yourself a few things. This is not any alarm bell ring. This is just facing the realities of something that really began unfolding last uh, August with the inversion of the uh, the uh, ten year uh, the ten year Treasury note and the uh, T bill rates inverting, where the T bills temporarily yielded more than the ten year. U.S. government notes. It's complicated things, but it's been an excellent forecaster of recession. And, uh, well, we certainly have been in one fighting to get out of it, but it looks like we might be going down under the waves again. And you want to make sure that you are ready. Wear your mask. Stay safe. Do your shopping. Do your bit of prepping for durable, uh, you know, for shelf-stable items like pastas and flowers and 
and yeast, grab some yeast and things like that, then you will be more self-sustaining out there. That's the heart of what prepping is. That's the backbone of being a prepper. You don't prep because you absolutely expect something to come. You prep because you want to be prepared if something comes. And if something doesn't happen, which we all hope, then you can just eat down on your items, move ahead, replenish them, and be a lot happier than the people that are going to be out there with the social unrest and the shortages and things like that. In my opinion, another prepping moment is at hand. Hey, happy Wednesday to all of you, and uh, thumbs up are appreciated. Comments are welcome in the comments section down below. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.